everyone. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to delete a Fitbit device from your account or your phone. Uh, basically, if you are having problems syncing, you can delete a device and then re-enable it. Or let's say you're selling a device and you want to basically wipe it from your phone so you no longer are tracking on that specific device. This is the, uh, the procedure for you. So I'm gonna be using a Fitbit Surge in order to do this. And uh, basically I'm gonna be switching over now to my phone view uh, so we can watch the screen. We're gonna be doing it primarily from the app. So again, what you'll need is your device as well as the Fitbit app on either your Android device or your iPhone. All right, I'm gonna switch over to my Android device and we can walk through the process. Okay, so we're currently on my Galaxy S7. You're looking at a few of my apps that I like to use for adventure and health. As you can see in the top right-hand corner, that Fitbit app symbol. Uh, if you don't have Fitbit app on your phone, you can use, basically use the Google Play Store to download it, or if you're using an iPhone, you can use the iTunes Store. So what I'm gonna do is click on that Fitbit icon, and it'll take us into the app. Now, uh, as you can see, you, there's a little icon of the surge up in the top right-hand corner of the app. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that little guy, and this will give us some interesting settings and, and some information on that specific device. Now, as you can see, in the top right-hand corner, there is a trash can. That is what we're gonna to use to actually delete the device off of our account. Now, make sure you're not currently in the sync mode or else the device will not delete. You can see that by that little spinning bar that I am syncing and I'm gonna to have to wait until that finishes. Okay, now once we're in the Fitbit Surge settings, we have a few options. And uh, what we're gonna be focusing on is that little trash can symbol up in the top right hand corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Now you're gonna get this warning that comes up. Remember that when you unpair or delete a device from your account, all the unsynced data is gonna be lost. So if you want that data from your workouts for the last uh, previous days or since the last time you synced, go ahead and hit the cancel button, go back and do a sync. Uh, because I'm up to date, I'm gonna go ahead and click that unpair button. And there you can see after a few seconds that the Fitbit surge is now deleted. All right, folks, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my Fitbit app with a Fitbit Zip now uh, to try out that device to see how I like it. If you're interested in setting up uh, that kind of a device, go ahead and click on the link, the video link in the description box below. And um, yeah, you can see uh, that process. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We got a lot more tips, tricks, and tech tutorial videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching.